hello friends in this video we are going to look at html5 forms and we will also see how to use submit and reset buttons in the form and what's its usage so in the next few sequence of videos we are going to look at a different user navigable element in a html5 supported browsers HTML5 forms collects user input and submit it to the server. So, since it collects user input, it will display some user navigable items. User will enter data into those navigable items and then they will click the submit button. So, here is the um, black diagram. If you see uh, a user is browsing a particular HTML form from his or her laptop. She enters first, middle and last name. Then uh, let's say the a person clicks the submit button. So what happens? The value entered in those text box will be formed as a URL data. Then it is sent to the server. So the server will process those data and it will respond back to the browser session. So here we are not going to look at the left side portion. That means the server receiving those data and processing it and then sending it back to the browser. So all we are going to see here and in the next few videos are how to design these user interface controls. Then we will submit those data to a local HTML file just for a demo purpose. So here the HTML5 form is a collection of control to take data from user and feed it to the web server. So the web server will be located anywhere in the world. So the form data is sent to a specific server The server will process the data sent by the client, I mean the client browser, then it will respond back to that browser after processing it. In the coming video sequence, we are going to look at various HTML5 UI elements. So the form tag contains a set of UI elements to collect data from user via web browsers. So the form tag will present UI elements using the input tag which we will see soon. So there are varieties of input elements supported by HTML5. So the UI elements collected by the form is sent to the server. So how do we know which server to send? So that's where the action attribute comes into picture. And this action attribute tells where this user entity data will be submitted or will be sent. So this usually takes a server side script to process the data. That means in the action script, we will specify a web URL to any server side scripting. It can be a ASP code or JSP code. So those code will run on the server and that will be specified here in the action attribute. But here for our example, since we are learning the HTML5 in this video series, we are not going to concentrate on the server side coding. So what we will do, we are going to use a dummy HTML as a processing target. So this is not a usual way. Uh, the usual way is uh, actually specifying the server address and server will take care of uh, the user input and response back. Since we are going to talk about only the HTML5 user interface element, we are using this uh, dummy HTML to see what data is submitted. So it's just for a demo purpose. We will learn about server side processing in a separate course. All right, now we will look at the example. 
here at line 10 you can see we opened a form and we closed it at line 17 so between this form we place all the user navigable element as well as the submit button so line 12 to 14 we placed multiple input tags so the tag type we set as text so the type attribute equal to text so that tells that these three input tags are uh, text boxes so if you see we are mixing the um, HTML document content with these input elements the first name we even doesn't mark that with any specific tag there is no paragraph tag nothing so it's just a plain text so after typing the first name we specified the uh, input tag and the type we specified as a text then we gave a name to that text box since type is text we can call it as a text box and name what we gave is a first name so when user clicks the submit button the server knows what is entered in that specific text box by using this name attribute so the server give, looks for the first name and then it will get the data entered in the text, text box at line 15 we have a submit button so when browsing user clicks it the data is sent to server and if you look at the form tag there we specified the action attribute right so action equal to dummy action dot html that means we are sending data to some html document which presents in the same folder but in actual case it will be a http address and a server side processing script name so that will receive the user interface element and its values for processing so the submit button is tied to that action so whenever user clicks the submit button the data collected through these uh, input elements will be sent to the uh, target specified in the action attribute at line 16 we have a reset button which is used to reset the values to original state let's say a form is big with some uh, seven to eight controls and user typed something then I realized that they want to uh, clear the form so in that case the reset button will uh, clicking the reset button will uh, clear all the input fields all right now we will go to a, a demo we will use a internet explorer browser for the demo so here we have two files one is coding example.html and another one is the dummy action.html so the content of dummy action.html is nothing we just have a h1 tag here we are not doing any processing so just for example's sake we use this um, dummy action so here is our example form tag we opened here and we are ending it here and if you see action target we specified it as a dummy action.html then we provided a header and we stated entry word name after that we specified different labels first name middle name and last name then we are using a input tag here input when we specify type equal to text then this particular element whatever is highlighted here it will produce a text box and we gave the name to the text box as a first name this br tag is to start a new line next we are having a middle name and we have uh, one more text box with name middle name then there is one more text box with name last name so submit and reset button already explained in the um, powerpoint slide all right now we will execute this in uh, we will render this example in uh, 
Chrome, I mean IE browser. And if you see, this is how it will present the user navigable element. Let me type some name here. So if I click reset, it will reset all the content. Now if I click submit and you can see that the action target is displayed here. So actually we opened, we specified the action. Let me bring up the source. If you see here, we specified the source as action.html. That's why when I place cursor here, it shows a dummy action.html. Okay, all right. Now we will submit and see how it sends the data. So if you see, it reaches the dummy action processing and this is what called the URL parameter. So we specified the action target. So we reached the action target and data you can see first name. This is a one text box equal to Sivaraman. That's the data entered by the user middle name. Then you can see the initial last name and you can see the value entered by the user. So that's how it will uh, take the data to the um, action file. That's all here in this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Bye. If you like the channel, subscribe it.